Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. I got 10 tips today for you on how to keep a safe security perimeter around your home. So if you have windows like this that are next to your front door um, with a, your latch right here. So you basically have a situation where a broken window could reach in, but an option, and in this particular case, we have glass on both sides. An option is I use a barbell. And I put a barbell here and it goes to here, a piece of wood and a stairwell. So the, the key is you need to have a stairwell that is uh, up against your door. Your door has to come in in front of some wall or stairwell. And in this particular case, I got a piece of wood that's just the right size. You can use the collars from a barbell to adjust the size precisely so that it fits very well, but not too tight. And this door is barricaded. There is there's really no way you're gonna get inside this door without breaking the door down. And you're not gonna have enough room to come through either of these holes. So this is a very secure option. Another thing that I think is a really good idea, is something that I did um, a couple years ago, is to put in reflective coating here. Uh, this is, as you can see my camera here and, and I'm standing, this is um, going to reflect back and you can't see in the house, uh, no matter how close you get. Even at night, you're not going to see in the house, but this is a mirror and it was cut to fit the window and I rolled it on there and I got the bubbles out as best I could. On the flip side, you can see, you can see out perfectly fine and it, it basically goes into the corners and you cut it and it fits and this is really cheap, but you basically provided quite a bit of deterrence from someone coming up from the outside. They can't see in now, even though these windows are here and you also put a security sticker there so, so they know that these are as a monitored system here and I also have a security sign out there as you can see. Uh, but having this tinted is a big help. Now up here, I have another window that's not tinted, uh, but I also have a security camera looking out right at the at the ground. So uh, unlikely anyone's gonna be looking through this window unless they're carrying a ladder. Uh, but having, having a, a tinting system on these windows so that you can't see in, but you can see out, I think is a great advantage. The thing you can do is a window barricade. You see here is PVC pipe put up in the corner of a window and fit almost perfectly. I had to use a little bit of a spacer here at the bottom to make it fit, but you can you can make your window more secure by putting this in. And, and now this two pane window can't really be open because um, uh, either way because of the this barricade there. And you have to you have to physically remove that. I mean, you could break the glass and then reach in and remove it, but every every little thing is going to slow somebody down. So it's you know it's behind blinds. And uh, I think someone would not know what's on the other side here. And uh, keeping blinds shut in general is also a good idea, uh, even in a garage. In my, in my case, my, my garage has two windows and some people might keep these open because they like all the light, but I keep them closed because I don't want people to see what's inside. You may have, you may have tools and things and you just don't want someone to um, get any ideas about where they wanna go. One of the things that you really have to do for your security systems is keep an eye on them. Uh, if they're not functioning properly, you may need to do a, a walk around and check outside. I, I had a wire that's frayed here. Obviously there's some animals chewing on it. This is outside the house. Uh, normally it was kind of buried behind some bricks, um, but you, you never know. So. This is an example where I need to do a little repair. It looks like it was stopped working and I wiggle it a little bit, it starts working again. So I'm gonna put some duct tape on there and see if I can get it to be more stable. Um, these are the realities of security systems. Unless you route these professionally through your attic and do it the right way, uh, if you try to do it uh, the cheap way and save money like I did, um, in this particular case, having wires running outside is obviously not the best way to do it, um, period. Uh, they can be cut easily. 
uh, by anyone that knows what they're doing. Um, but this is more for casual people that are not professional. You know, if you encounter the wrong type of person, this kind of security system is going to fail you. Um, but that's why you have uh, multiple systems, and that's why I have Wi-Fi system as well. So, and, and cameras that are inside the house. And so you have to have a layered approach to your self-defense strategy, especially when it comes to surveillance. Uh, cameras break, there are issues. Now it's taped up. Put a bag in front of it. Do you want to make the back of your house more secure? Um, one of the ways that we do it, if you listen, There's a radio playing inside. Uh, sounds like someone's in there, but they're not. The radio's on a timer, it comes on, plays for several hours, goes off, but it sounds like someone's in the house. That's a good way to keep it secure so that nobody even tries to go in. Means, but the work that I'm gonna put into this is like more, more time than I have. Pitts has treated seven patients using the drug. He says it, it works. Are you concerned about doors and windows that go out to the outside like this uh, with glass that could be broken? Well, put a glass break detector there. I showed this in a short video before, but the reality is these are extremely useful and very sensitive. Uh, this thing uh, does not go off just from clanking dishes or dropping a dish, but um, it takes a pretty high pitch, high frequency sound, uh, significant decibels, but it also has to be of a certain pitch. Uh, but you break a window or you fire the TCP, it'll go off. And, and I think that's a pretty, fairly reliable option. The other thing that I, I think you really want to consider is a motion detector. And so... Let's see if ours is working today. See the blue? Off. On. On. It's very hard to get around it. It's gonna catch you. And that thing uh, has a perfect angle. Put it in the corner. And I, this thing has been extremely reliable. And you have the option with a typical security system to activate this or not activate this. So during daytime, when you come down here, you don't, it's not alarming, but at night I can turn it on so that that will, will trigger the alarm. So uh, warning systems, early warning systems, these are what you want. Another thing you can do is at nighttime, every night have your lights on a timer. Uh, we use these simple, this is mechanical timer. You can hear it humming. These are on a, on a clock setting. Uh, you can use one like this, or there's an alternative electronic version that you can use. So the, the electronic version will be the same concept, the light, and, and then you've got it on a uh, Wemo device, and that's what we're using here and you control this with your phone um, and works very well. You can do it from anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi access. The other thing I would say is probably generally a good idea is to run your front porch light at night. Uh, I, I just, I, 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 there's different opinions on this, but I feel having more light along the front of your house um, brings attention to uh, the front and, and the people on the streets driving by are going to look and they, they can see it's not dark, there's nowhere to hide. I, I believe that that is better, more illumination. They, they don't want to come where it's well lit. They want to be hidden in darkness. And so having that is, I think, is a good idea. Uh, having that also on a timer is probably also really smart. We have um, a old-fashioned, nothing high-tech, but it works and it's on a timer and it adjusts according to seasonal changes in the light outside. So in the winter, it, it's quite different than in the summer. It knows what day of the year it is and it makes adjustments. And it's this one is extremely not user-friendly, but you get the concept. Uh, 
uh, it's an idea and I, and I think having these lights on is, um, is a benefit in terms of your personal safety. Number 10 example is to have a home security system that's on and active at nighttime, especially after everybody retires for the night. Activate your code, start the alarm, and usually it has a period where, it, where it's counting down and it gives you time to get away from any of the sensitive areas, and that might include your um, motion detector which might be in a part of the house where you don't go at night uh, and in our particular case that's that's true uh, but you may have motion detectors at other parts of your house that you um, uh, or don't plan to go during the night but you have to remember not to accidentally set them off which is a real thing um, but having this system and activating it uh, religiously and, and not forgetting to is really important. This thing will wake you up from a deep sleep. That alarm is loud. If you watch my uh, glass break video, you will see this is just the warning light, but when it goes off, it, it, it will wake up yourself and it may wake up a neighbor or two. So um, those are the 10 uh, tips that I have for you. Uh, and these are the things that will help you keep your house safe um, even before an intruder has a chance to come into the house. These are the things that are going to provide um, a, a barrier and give you time. Uh, if someone's coming up here to the door and they want to come in, I got a glass break, it's going to go off. If they open this door right now, if I open this, and open it, the alarm is gonna go off and I'm gonna get a call from this from the monitored system. This is what you want, it gives you that time. If someone steps foot in here or even breaks it and it takes them a, takes them a while to fiddle around and get safe and get in, you have time upstairs to do what you need to do to be prepared and you have a, you're in a strategically located position. So time is what it's all about. So those are my tips for today. Everybody be safe. Take care.